Good day, I am Musical Madison Cantillo and for today I'm going to perform the preparing medications from VIA. So for this procedure, the rationale is for us nurses or student nurses to be or to have a knowledge on how to withdraw a drug or medication from the vials. So prior to the procedure or before I start the procedure, I need first to ensure that I follow the five right of medication administration. So I need to ensure that I follow the right medication, the right dose, the right route at the right time and at the right patient. And after I ensure that I need now to perform hand hygiene. So the rationale for doing this is to prevent the spreading of microorganisms from me as a student nurse or nurse to the patient and from or vice versa from the patient to the nurse then after I do that I need now to prepare the vial or the medication in the vial in preparation for the withdrawal of the medication so in doing this we need to place our or we need to place the vial and get a clean uh, antiseptic wipe on the top of the vial and wipe this in a circular motion so that it will be clean before we withdraw the medication and after we use this we need to dispose it on one area and then next is we need to prepare the withdrawal of the medication so in doing this we need to uh, set up our uh, the syringe that we will be using so we need to attach a filter straw but since i have no filter straw here i need to or as an alternative i use a or an aspirating needle so we need to remove the regular needle of this syringe uh, I use 5 cc syringe and attach the attach the aspirating needle to this so I need to ensure that it is attached firmly to the syringe so that the medication will not go outside or it will not leak so it should be time and then after that I need to remove the cup of this and then I need to withdraw air for this syringe so I for this procedure I need to have a 3 cc amount so that I will withdraw 3 cc as well 3 cc amount of air Alright, so this is now 3cc. And then after I do that, I need now to uh, place the vial on the flat surface and also the syringe, the vial, I will hold it using my non-dominant hand and the syringe using my dominant hand. And place or insert it at the center of the vial right we need to place it at the center of the vial carefully we have to do this carefully all right so after i already inserted this i need to invert now the vial so how can i so this is what it looks like after I inverted. So after I already inverted this, I need to place it on my eye level, both vial and the syringe, and eject the air that I withdraw from the syringe to the vial, inside of the vial. Right, so I've already... I've already ejected the air so next is I need to withdraw now 
the proper or appropriate amount of the CA. So this of the medication rather. So the so the amount prescribed amount is three ml or three cc. So I need to withdraw. So make it sure that it is the drawing. Alright. So after that, I've already withdraw 3cc. I will now remove or uh, pull the syringe to the vial. Alright, and um, maintain it in upright position. So, if there are air bubbles on the syringe, it is needed to plate, uh, we need to plate this so that it will go up because uh, it will affect, it will affect the real amount of the medication. Right. So after we click and ensure that there is no, there is no left air bubble on the, on the syringe, we need now to return the cup and remove the filter needle or I mean the aspirating needle of the syringe if and only if there is no left air bubbles on the syringe so we have to make it sure that so after this we need to uh, we need to get it back this we need to get it back the syringe on its original or the regular syringe and ensure we have to make sure that it is tightly enough or it is attached enough to the regular needle so that the medication will not be go outside of the syringe all right so after we do this it is now ready to administer to the patient and we'll put it on the medication tray and now We'll now proceed on preparing and using multi-dose vial. So we need first to remove all of the materials that we've already used and place it on one side, on one area. The sharps should go on the sharp container because in order for this to not harm any people or in order for it or in order for us to be safe or to protect ourselves. So now proceed on preparing and using the multi-dose vial. So in doing that, we need a distilled water, a vial that has a powder inside, of course, the syringe, that is a new syringe, and a aspirating needle as well since I don't have a filter straw needle so in doing this we need to again remove the top of the vial All right so after that we need now to prepare the syringe we need also to set up all right So it is now ready. We'll just remove the regular needle and replace it using the aspirating needle. Right. So let's we'll remove the top. So after we prepare the syringe that we will be needing and also the aspirating needle after we attach we need now to get the distilled water so we need to read the 
manufacturer direction so it says that dissolve the contents of one vial in 0.9 ml of sterile water for injection so we have to get a 0.9 here on distilled water we need to withdraw 0.9 for the distilled water okay so we need to insert So we need 0 0.9 Okay, so we've already reached the 0 0.9 So if there are bubbles, we need to click it And then we need to get the vial and turn it invertedly and then inject the syringe in the vial and finally inject the distilled water all right so we draw the syringe and turn it back on its original Yeah. all right so in doing this after we already withdraw the, the distilled water and after we mix we need now to mix after we uh, mix the distilled water and the powder inside the vial we need now to mix it using again a rotation method or the rotation pattern by the palms and not shaking because it will accumulate air all right so if the multi-dose vial will be reconstituted we have to uh, write a date and the time it was prepared and once the medication is reconstituted we have to place it on the refrigerator or as recommended by the manufacturer so after doing all of the procedure that we have that we we've done that i've done i need to after repair all of the equipments that i used i need also to wash our hands and observe the infection control procedure to prevent the spreading of microorganisms and then i have to document all of the data that i gathered and I have to document all of the procedure that I've done. Thank you.